As a Foundry VTT GM, I'm sure you've been eyeing up the newest version of Foundry, version 12, and you've been thinking whether it's time to update or not. Well, there is one module that is broken in Foundry version 12, and if you use version 12 with this module, it could destroy your game world irreparably. Let's talk about the module in question, what exactly happened, and how you can mitigate this issue. Hi there, my name is Fondu. I run this channel called Dice and Easy, where I give you Foundry VTT tips and tricks with over over 500 hours using this software under my belt. So the module in question is called Warpgate, and it is broken in Foundry version 12. I'm talking kaput, does not work, do not use it. If you're not familiar with the module, Warpgate is a system agnostic library module that provides API functions to make programmatically spawning tokens and modifying those tokens easier for both players and GMs. In late June, it came to my attention through Tim Posney's Discord server that Warpgate in Foundry version 12 can lead to world data loss and Foundry worlds completely breaking without any means to recover this loss. I'll take this opportunity to remind you that you should be creating backups of your Foundry worlds frequently, and if you need help doing that, I'll leave a video of mine and some written resources in the description below to help you out. So, all of this means that Warpgate should never be used in Foundry version 12. Let me repeat that. Warpgate should never be used in Foundry version 12. This is the official guideline from the module's creator. Now, unfortunately, there are some other modules that depend on Warpgate, which means that they will not work properly or at all in Foundry version 12. The only major one that I'm aware of that still has this dependency is Chris's Premades, which is a very powerful automation module. The developer of Chris's Premades is working on a version 12 compatible version of the module that will remove the warp gate requirement, but it is still under works and is not out as of recording. Other modules used to have this warp gate dependency, but all the wonderful module developers have been hard at work removing this dependency. There might be other modules that are still dependent on warp gate beyond Chris's Premades, so do be aware of this issue. Okay, so Warpgate is broken. How to resolve this? Well, if you're on version 12 or planning to update to it, uninstall Warpgate immediately. There are bootleg versions of Warpgate being shared around the internet with people claiming it fixes these issues, but under no circumstances should you be using them. Do not use bootleg versions of Warpgate. These are not sanctioned by the developer of Warpgate and will only lead to more issues, so again, don't use them. Luckily, it seems like most modules have removed this dependency, but again, if you are someone who really likes using Chris's Premades or another module that still relies on Warpgate, you basically have the option of waiting for the module to get updated to remove this dependency or to stop using the module and try to find an alternative. This is, of course, assuming you are going to jump to version 12 of Foundry or you're already using version 12 of Foundry. If you're sticking to version 11 of Foundry, hey, no issues then, you can move along. This situation is not great and it's understandable if you're feeling frustrated. Frustrated. Know that Honey Badger, the developer of Warpgate, has the best interests of Foundry users at heart as he has now removed Warpgate from GitHub so that no one can accidentally install it and end up with bricked Foundry worlds. Will we ever see a fixed version of Warpgate? Only time will tell. So there you have it, a bit of a shorter video, just wanted to warn you, but Warpgate unfortunately is at risk of breaking Foundry version 12 worlds. So make sure you uninstall it if you're using version 12 or applying to update to it, and make sure you don't use any bootleg versions of Warpgate. I personally really like Chris's Premades and wouldn't want to drop it if I update to version 12. And luckily, like I mentioned, Chris is working on version 12 support for the module, which will also remove the Warpgate dependency. I'll just stick to version 11 for now and wait for the version 12 upgrade to drop for Chris's Premades so I can get rid of Warpgate. How do you feel about this situation? Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And while you're down there writing, I would also kindly ask for a like and subscribe as those help my videos reach more people and they don't cost you a dime. On the screen right now, you're going to see another video of mine where I go through all the main new features in Foundry version 12. If you want to know what's new in the latest major version of Foundry, check it out. All right, that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.